Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you one of my all-time favorite fall recipes for dinner. It's a farro and sausage stuffed roasted acorn squash. It is amazing. I got this from SkinnyTaste.com and I've been making it for a couple years now and I only make it during the fall because it just has those fall flavors and aromas to it and it's a hearty good meal that you'd think of eating when it's kind of crisp and chilly outside. It's just amazing. So it's this sausage, farro, um, onion, celery, and um, was seasoned with sage and salt and pepper um, filling that you set inside of a roasted acorn squash half. And then as you eat it, you eat everything all together. And it is amazing. My husband and I love this dish. Um, my kids, not so much. Um, so I tend to make them something else. But I only make this pretty much one time a year. And I make enough that there's leftovers for us. So we enjoy it while we have it. And then it's not until the next fall that I will make it again. If you can't already hear, there are kids in the background. They're playing outside. Some are playing at the dining room, which is right next door to the kitchen. So you're going to hear some kids in this video. And it just is what it is. It's normal dinner time, you know hour before dinner and this is these are the sounds of this house so you will hear that in this video but I want to show you this recipe it's fairly simple but it is it does take some time because you're roasting the acorn squash for an hour you're making the other stuff during that time but it, still it takes at least an hour so it's not a super quick meal to put together but it is so tasty and delicious you won't be disappointed with it so let's get started for this recipe, you're gonna need um, three acorn squash and a large onion, four stalks of celery. I have 10 ounces of mushrooms, uh, sliced mushrooms. They may look weird, but I had them in the freezer, so they've been defrosting. Um, two chicken sausage, sweet Italian chicken sausage links, um, a cup of farro, and your seasonings are gonna be salt, pepper, ground sage, and then some olive oil and I think oh and then also um, some chicken broth but I use this better than bouillon with water instead of chicken broth so that's all that you're going to need for this so first I'm going to um, well preheat my oven which I've already done to 350 degrees and then next I'm going to cut these in half and seed them and then rub them with some olive oil all over and sprinkle the insides with salt and pepper and then I'm going to set them in these baking dishes. I don't think all six halves will fit in one, so I have two out. Um, put a quarter cup of water in each, cover them with foil, and then stick them in the oven for 50 minutes. Um, so that's what I need to do first since it's gonna take about an hour to cook these. Um, I have found that these are tough to cut in half um, just as they are, so I tend to wash them, poke some holes in them with a fork, and then I just cook them in the microwave for five minutes. I put all three of them in there and cook them for five minutes first, just to soften them up a bit, just so it's not so hard for me to cut into them, and then take out the, you know, the stringy stuff and the seeds and all that. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, and then get them in the dishes to put them in the oven. So next I'm going to get the farro cooking, so I have a cup of it in here. The directions say to rinse it and drain it on the recipe, which I don't do. I tried it once and it was just a big mess and so I just put it straight in. So with one cup I'm going to add two cups of water. And then I'm just going to eyeball two teaspoons of this better than bouillon chicken base. Um, I go a little heavy on it too just because it adds that much more flavor. Um, or you could just use plain old um, chicken stock or broth and that's just as good. I would not skip this step though. Um, definitely do not just use water. 
the flavor that this gets from the chicken stock makes this meal that much better. So I wouldn't skip this. It, try try to use something if you can. Um, so I'm gonna get this started because um, it does, this is obviously, this is just my rice cooker. It does take a while in here. So this is definitely the second thing you wanna do after getting those acorn squashes in the oven. Now we're gonna get started on the sausage filling. So first we're gonna cook the sausage. And I just turned my um, burner on to a medium heat. Once it's cooked through, transfer it to a dish and then we're going to get started on the vegetables. To your pan, add some olive oil. Then add the celery and the onion. Then you can add some salt and pepper to taste. and just cook this until the veggies are soft. It will take like eight to 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna add the mushrooms and the ground sage. Normally I just do the sage to taste and just kind of eyeball it, but for your sake, I'm gonna measure it. I think I'm gonna use at least a tablespoon, possibly more for this. I personally really like the taste of sage, so I go heavy on it, but if that's not your thing, then don't do as much. Then just mix to combine and to cook the mushrooms. Um, the instructions say to stir for five minutes and then cover it um, for two minutes and leave it alone so that the mushrooms can release their juices. Um, I'm just gonna, my mushrooms, since they were frozen, are already releasing juices and all that. I also drain them, but um, before I dump them in here because as they defrosted, there was water that came off of them. So um, I am probably just gonna cover them in a minute, um, but if you're using fresh mushrooms, then go ahead and stir it for a while and then cover it. I just turned the heat down to low and I'm going to return the cooked sausage back to the pan with all the veggies. And then I'm just waiting on the farro to finish cooking and once that's done cooking, I will add that to the pan as well. You'll notice that my chicken sausage broke up a lot. It's like really fine. Um, that's not how it's been in the past. I've had chunkier sausage in the past, so I'm not sure exactly what was different about it, but um, I personally would prefer the chunkier stuff, so you actually get like a chunk of it while you're eating it. But this will work just as well, because it's what we got. So until the farro is done cooking, I'm just gonna cover this with a lid, keep it on low, and then um, I'll just wait. So the farro looks done. It never popped for me, like the little timer thingy saying that it was done, but all the moisture has been removed. That is actually what has taken the longest. So the filling is done. I did add a second tablespoon of sage to the mixture, um, and I'm just gonna cover this, keep it on low, and uncover the acorn squash, let it cook for another 10 minutes, and then it's ready to assemble. Well, I sincerely hope that you first enjoyed this video and second, that you will give this recipe a try. And if you do, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I did make some changes from the original recipe and I showed you how I make it, um, but I will put a link below to the original recipe um, so that you can see um, what she did and how I changed it up a bit. And then you can try it my way, her way, or make up your own way to do it. Um, but I do thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you are doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.